Alright, so we're going to start off with an eyeshadow primer and this is from Ulta, it's from the I Love Essence. Just put that all over the entire lid. And so we won't have any tackiness or stickiness, I always like to set that with any type of translucent powder or a transition shade, doesn't really matter just as long as a powder to set that eyeshadow primer in place. For highlight brow bone, I'm using the Anastasia Artist palette in the shade Buttery and just placing that on the high arch of my brow bone. To follow that, I'm going to use a bare skin tone color. This is from the 35O palette and just blending that back and forth, just making sure that everything is going to blend into one another. Next to follow that shade, I'm going to use the Morphe 35O palette once again and this is a true brown color and I'm going to use that and place that right on the crease. I like to set my crease first just so that the lid color can then go ahead and follow and you can easily transition. So I'm just going to go ahead and build that up gradually and you can do it to the intensity that you want to. So as my liking, I stop at this point. Then I went in with another darker warm chocolate with an undertone of burgundy just to have a little bit more depth. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up this very bright orange shade. It's actually very warm. It seems super bright but it's very warm and just placing that all over. I just wanted it to peek through in the crease of in my transition. Now with the lid color, this is fresh from the Artist palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can use any yellow that you have on hand, but this is the one that I reached for. I'm just placing that all over the lid. Then I use a smaller brush, a list of brush that I use down in the description box in this video. And I'm going to go ahead and define that crease a little bit more with the same color that we used before. You can go ahead and gradually add more lid color as, as I'm doing here. Now this next step, this is a brush that doesn't have any product. I'm just lightly blending the yellow into my crease color so that the yellow can blend in and not look like super harsh. I'm moving on to the face now and this is my Kiko Milano Matte Fluid Primer that I absolutely love and I rave about all the time. You need it, order a line, trust me, oily to combo skin girls, you will love this. And then for foundation, I decided to use my LC foundation and I used two pumps of this because one pump isn't enough coverage for me. This leaves a very natural, like, dewiness type of finish. I really like this foundation, but it's kind of like a splurge item. So if you're looking into that, then I definitely would recommend it. I have oily to combination skin and I like the way it leaves my skin looking like natural and fresh, not too oily. I'm going to go ahead and put on some concealer and blend it with that same foundation brush that I use for my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques to blend that concealer more into my skin. To set, I'm going to use the Banana NYX HD Finishing Powder and I'm going to set that on my under eyes where I place that concealer and then I'm going to set my entire face with my powder. So for bronzer, I'm using the NYX Contour Palette and I'm using that second shade and placing that as a bronzer shade. Not doing a contour, just a very light bronzer. I wanted a little bit more sun and a little bit more sun kissed look to my face, as this is a spring tutorial, so not too much contour, just more of a bronzy look. And I'm going with my trusty Radiant Drops from Sephora and blending that with my finger and alternating it with the complexion sponge from Real Techniques. 
For highlighter, I'm going to use the Kigo Milano eyeshadow in the number 208 and I'm using a Morphe 501 brush, just placing that on the highest points of my cheekbones. For blush, I'm using Coral Cove from Milani. And then I'm going to go ahead and quickly do my eyeliner. So to me this look isn't complete without eyelashes. I'm using the Violet Voss 3D Foam Ink Lashes in the style Just Slang. These are super comfortable, lightweight, and they're only $10. And if you are like cruelty free, vegan free, I would suggest these because they're faux mink. They're not real mink lashes. And I like to place some eyeliner just to hide the lash band and just make sure like it'll all look put in place. And I'm going to use the NARS nude eyeliner on the waterline and place some orange on the lower lash line. For lips, I am using the new Karuchi collaboration with Colourpop in the liquid lipstick K. And this is a very nice color. It complemented the look so well. And that's the end of this makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!